Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review on Transformers Generations Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. Alright, let's take a look at the box real quick. You can see Optimus there in the background. He is Cybertronium form, which I really have issues with Cybertronium. Hasbro, uh, that is Autobot, as you can see. There's, oh boy. Although it does sell like his eyes are lighted. There's no light piping on this thing. Of course, here's the back. If you want to read about Optimus Prime, follow Cybertron. There it is. Here he is. So there's the tech specs. As you can see, mostly 10s all across the board. Some 9s and 7s here for, you know, he's not perfect. All right. Made by Hasbro. On to the figure. Ooh, thing is rough. And I never noticed this. This wheel kind of doesn't align too well. You got the wheels are a little bit smaller in the back than the front, but for the most part, you can you can almost get all six wheels to roll. <laughs> that that wheel's there for support, I guess. Doesn't exactly line up, and I really don't like the front of this. It, ah, some about this figure does not irk me. I don't like Cybertronium forms. They can make it to wherever, and a lot of times these guys are lazy. It doesn't resemble anything on Earth, and hey, that's cool, but it's just, it's just smacks of laziness to me. Gaps all over the place. Look at that. I mean, if the robot form was something awesome, see the back is like weird. Legs are weird. It doesn't, it hides the robot form pretty well. You can see the waist piece over here, the arms over there. But the caps are so inexcusable. This just smacks dabs with laziness. Even though the head is secured well, I just can't, I don't like these gaps. What, what are they there for? Couldn't they figure something out? I just lazy. Five out of ten for this mode. It's just, ugh. I don't like it and uh, it does have five mil points on the feet you can tell the feet are there but not colored or anything that's the feet it's right here in the five mil port right perfect that's you got two ports here you can hit it in the side if you like it's kind of weird but yeah there you go those are the five mil ports not bad transformation not too bad box says it's a two out of five or four or three I don't know what the but first thing we're gonna do is gonna rotate this down just like that pull the feet up like that spin them apart and there we go put the feet down oh nice slow ball joints is kind of nice and as you can see it's beginning to form split the arms apart and I like the detail on that, on the windshield. If anything else, it does have good detail. I think there's an automorph gimmick here, and all we have to do is flip this up, and easier said than done. There we go. There. Flip the head. There we go. Flip the head up, and it, as you can see, the arms are connected, so that's kind of neat. Just tab that down. Oop, snaps very satisfyingly, as you can hear. So those are the arms already, and as you can see, the head scope, it looks like there's light piping, there's nothing back here, but it's just good light piping, or good paint job on the head. I'll give them that much for crying out loud. Alright, so let's go on. I'm going to rotate the fist 90 degrees out, then rotate this thing like that. Beautiful. And this just goes out of the way. Same thing on the other side, like the Autobot symbol. Rotate the fist 90 degrees, rotate that, and down. And just move that out of the way, just like that. Mm, beautiful. It doesn't tab anywhere, but you know, it is what it is. Alright. Now the figure is definitely better looking. Definitely better looking. Ugh. There we go. It's a little windy outside, but that's okay. More much better looking. This is where you get your bread and butter. Head is on a ball joint. So you can rotate that sucker. No neck rotation, but it's pretty good for a deluxe figure. Small head, but what can you say? Elbow is on this weird looking automorph gimmick, so it does have a ball joint, so it's not too bad. Oh, one thing I forgot. 
put the smokestacks down. There we go. Good. Hmm. You can store the gun there, and he can hold it pretty well. So, there we go. Not bad. So, looking like he's... Eh, not bad. Elbows on a weird thing. Wheel swivel joint here. Or, sorry, hinge joint. Swivel on the bicep, so it's nice. You can get them definitely in some good poses. I like the gun. All right, let's try to get that. There we go. Waist is on a swivel. Kind of a weird ball joint looking thing, but it works. It gives them good torso articulation. Ball joint on there. I think there's a, yep, thigh swivels. You can do that. Good range of motion on the knee. And of course, as I mentioned, feet is on a ball joint so yeah I mean yeah the articulation is pretty fantastic in this mode so what can I say it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie I'm a little cheating cheating a little there all right let's straighten them up give them a size comparison bam oh yeah Megatron is not that big All right, we're at that lazy vehicle mode. I, I really didn't like that. This robot mode is definitely where it's at, which is good, which is good, because, wow, he's short. Yes, if all the Cybertron figures are short, look at that, he's tiny. All right, I'm going to have to knock off a half point for being tiny. This is Optimus Prime for crying out loud. Seven and a half. All right, that's all I got, YouTubers, and i catch you all next time.